7.36 right now, and time is running out to get those Christmas packages in the mail because some important deadlines are coming up fast. Dallas Ontiveros joins us from the main post office with a behind-the-scenes look. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, everyone. Yep, we are still hanging out here at the U.S. Main Post Office, and here hanging out with us all the way up today is our friend Misty. Hey, Hi. Misty, how's Hi it going? Again. It's going well. So, I know you're probably just so used to all this, but this is amazing. Isn't it so cool to see all, how all this works? Thank you. Yes, it is. Um, you know, I think the heartbeat of the post office are our employees, but to see it all come together, come into fruition during Christmas is just amazing. So what we're seeing right now, is this considered a busy day or a slow day? Um, this is average. It's an average day. Uh, most of our parcels, uh, it gets very busy overnight. So actually, these guys worked hard to push these items out. So we're kind of coming to an average pace right now. What would you say I mean, well, I guess, how do things look like when it's closer to Christmas? Um, this is kind of, you know, to me, this is kind of how we roll. This is, you know, everybody has a job to play. So it kind of looks like this, very organized. Yes, it does get crazy. But if you look around and you see our employees, they know exactly what they need to be doing. So it's kind of good. You know. I know there's, I noticed there's a lot of, you know, tossing and turning with the packages. Uh -huh. You brought this up earlier on Wake Up Today, uh -huh. and that comes to packaging properly, depending right. on what you're sending. And, and right. this is why, right? Um, <laughs> well, you know, and you also need to understand, like, you know, for customers, you know, you may be sending a package to Alaska and you need to think about, okay, how do we get our things to Alaska? You know, sometimes it's by boat plane. So just make sure that you have your addresses together. Uh, make sure that you taped your box really well. Cause you know, we, we handle your packages with care, but they go hundreds of miles sometimes. It's amazing. I mean, if you could just imagine a little GoPro on one of these cam, I mean, one of these packages, you know, the journey it takes. Let's go ahead and take a look over here really quickly now when we see all these baskets these look all full uh -huh. so that means they're ready to go inside the trucks correct so what will happen is it goes on one of our larger trucks to our post offices um, we usually have I want to say a whole truckload in the morning maybe three four times a day and then it goes on its way gets distributed by our clerks uh, to our carriers carriers offload into their trucks and then they go and deliver. So just one thing to note, um, just in case customers don't know, our carriers start as early as 6 a.m. So if you do hear something at your door that early, it is our hardworking employees delivering your items. Amen. That's why we say working for Hawaii. Correct. You know, <laughs> thank you so much for just kind of shining a light on our employees and how hard we work during Christmas and every day. Seriously, thank you so much, Misty. And you know what she was telling me during the commercial break? She is a huge online shopper. So not only yes. does she practice what she preaches, but she knows the whole system and the whole game. Yes. I love that. That's yes. awesome. Thank it you so much. Yeah. It does. Yeah. You know, we work very long hours. So just being able to click and ship, it's like so convenient. I love well, it. Bam. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Misty. Thanks. And we do here have, if we do hear anything different, from the team here or if there's anything that you need to know, you can visit our website at kh12.com and also check out our future newscast for updates. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas Anderos, K22 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas, and we appreciate all the postal workers. Over on Maui, classes are being offered to get into the healthcare